I'm on site. Bow, ladies and gentlemen, welcome and welcome back to Set Streams. Yes, sir. It's a boy, you're so sad. I'm back with another one. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to talk about a few things, not a lot to be honest. Um, it's Monday, so you know, nigga, niggas got shit to do. But yeah, uh, we're gonna talk about we're gonna watch some stuff, and yeah, first thing is I was watching um Bobby Altov's podcast, a really good space. A, what the really good podcast sorry i'm confusing with with yari's podcast yeah so she had uh sweetie on there you guys know sweetie she is the cause of the beef between quavo and chris brown anyway but actually i don't believe she's the cause of the beef because watching this interview bro sweetie is like the nicest person i don't know if this is an act but it doesn't even seem like an act it seems so genuine she's so nice so funny so you know engaging like she has good conversations he asks questions back like it's like watching this like it didn't even seem like an interview it just seems like two gal pals chatting it up you know and she's eating them lobsters chopping it up tearing it up you know so yeah i really fucked with it man it was, it was really dope to see sweetie in that light and you know because i don't know for some reason i had i had the impression that sweetie's like one of those bitches those mean girls type vibes da, da, da. but she's literally like literally the opposite of that she's from this interview what i get it she was so nice so yeah we're just gonna watch a bit of it and we'll, we'll take you from there up until like 4 a.m and then got up this morning 4 a.m what were you doing no we was outside where you came with us we, we went to, to um to invite me and i'm gonna get your numbers so i can okay. take you out thank you I'll, i would love to go it'll be fine you're gonna regret inviting me but why because i'll just be there in the corner okay. watching you how could you gotta get show? Will you? I want to be out of my shawl. I'm trying. It's just really hard. I'm in my head a lot. I'm okay, we'll work on it. How do you taste potatoes with your hands? Honestly, I don't really care for the potatoes. I don't like this kind of potato. I like. Should we try? Yeah. Is that into it? Like an apple? No, no, no. Oh, you're gonna... Okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> just like kind of plain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some sour cream, cheese, mm -hmm. a little bit of pepper. Mm-hmm. What's your favorite meal? Um. This? Filipino food. It's mm -hmm. called sinigang. It's called what? Sinigang. Okay, never heard that word. It's a soup. Oh. It got fish in it. Mm -hmm. What kind of fish? Um, I like milk fish in mine. Milk? Mm -hmm. what, what's a milk fish? Um, it's just the name of the fish. Milk fish. Girl, we gotta expand your horizons. <laughs> milk I don't think there's nothing in girl. Okay, that's a cool name then. But it's very delicious. What's your favorite food? Hmm. I like Mexican food. Ooh. If I had to pick. Tacos or burritos? I'm tacos all the way. I'm a burrito girl. You are? I feel like everyone's a burrito person. I love to like bite into it. Mm -hmm. like, get to the bottom. I like a taco with just like lime everything cilantro on it it's so good do you like cilantro i love cilantro you know that there's two types of people people who cilantro tastes good to and people who it tastes like soap to soap yeah am i right about that oh my god how does everybody know that fun fact fun fact that so many people know but like if you have taste buds for it then it's good but some um, people don't and it tastes like soap to them i wonder what that means about your blood type i don't know what blood type are you um you know there's some stalkers out there i don't want to oh. say my blood type you know and then it just anyway, try to <laughs> <laughs> tell us your blood type sweetie right yeah that is <laughs> crazy that does feel very personal to know what type of blood you have no but interesting fact i became a pescatarian and You're a pescatarian no i was oh, okay sorry but i started to like have I, I started to get sick a lot so i found out that you have to eat according to your blood type so my blood type with my blood type you have to eat a lot of meat so I, i'm eating meat again how long did that last a year girl oh. i was faithful but i was starting to have like you know just a lot of i was gonna sick a lot is that your natural hair color it is you could really yeah well no like not all of it oh, oh that's true why would i say yeah i was about that's to say you're blessed no my natural hair color is this right there would you do a color like what i think you look really cute in pink like what color pink your hat not like a baby pink like okay. a, li a little lighter than this i like that i would could i test it with a wig first I'm sure. I like i shouldn't just bleach all my hair and then yep. i'm gonna go for it i'm gonna get you hd lace so they don't really chat about anything specific if i'm being honest it's like it's kind of just it's just them talking and eating so they don't really speak about anything specific any gossip anything like that they don't really go into it i think she does ask about how she got into music but that's a bit later it's like the best type of wig where do you get it um there's some wig shops out here i'll send them to you okay but i gotta be there make sure they do Let's it right together yeah we yeah. do a house call we can go to the beauty shop oh i don't know if i'm house call rich yet but well, I am. <laughs> of course you are. Can you spend your money on it? For Come me, on, that's man. crazy. Well, your birthday is coming up, right? It is. Is that my birthday present? Pink hair? Oh, are you trying to make me a trick? Yeah. I don't oh. know what that means. <laughs> you are so cute, Bobby. What does that mean? A trick, like someone that spends money on someone. Oh, yeah. No, I've never had one of those. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Someone that spends money on me. No, I spend money on people. Oh, we have to reverse that this year. I would love to reverse that. I'm working on it. Let's work on it. We'll manifest it. Let's manifest that. Mm, that's um, right. This tastes so good. What is that? The energy drink? Mm -hmm. I need that. I have a meeting after this, so. You have a meeting after this. What time? Yes, ma'am. 
What time is your meeting? At four. What time is it? No say. I have a lot of questions to get through. It's three. No say. <laughs> we only have a lot of time. Let me ask you a lot of questions. All right. I really thought we had the entire time. Yeah, me too. But you gave up like three minutes in. We had to remix it. This is our own ASMR. Okay. I feel like we should at least do a minute of whispering so that. All right, let's make a clip of us just whispering. Okay, this is the part where they start whispering, which I just thought was. <laughs> it was cute for like the first time, but then they just did it for too long. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much the interview, man. You guys will go, you go watch the rest of it. Um, yeah, like I said, really dope. Just two gals chatting it up. And also like Bobby, her personality has definitely shifted. You remember, if you guys watched from the beginning, she used to come up with this persona where she would just be like awkward and mean and just like, you know, but I think now she's just decided to just use her real personality because I think people just got tired of seeing her being mean to guests and pretending like she doesn't know who she's interviewing all of that you know so it just it just got too much so i'm glad that she ditched the persona and now she's just herself because it's much better and it's a lot easier to watch so yeah shout out to bobby shout out to saweti you guys will definitely go finish the rest of that okay